What's going on guys and welcome to this full playthrough of the new DLC in Bug Snacks, the Isle of Big Snacks. Bug Snacks is finally available on everything. Up, it is now uh, on Xbox, Steam, PS4, PS5, which it was already on. Epic Game Store is already on and now it's also on Switch. So this video uh, Tom, is going to be... I need your help with a matter of well, great right here. importance. You see, my seismic readings have been off the charts today, and I fear something terrible is happening just off the coast. Chandler and I are headed to Simmering Springs to investigate, and I'd be greatly reassured if you could join us. Splendid! Meet us there whenever you get the chance. In the meantime, we have preparations to make. Chandler, ready the sunscreen! <laughs> oh, oh, so again, the way you start this DLC is you talk to Snorpy, and then you have to go south. Um, I did not receive a code, even though this was a free DLC, but I did receive a code for Bug Snacks back when it came out. It's your very own mailbox! Lisbert was gone most of the time, so if any of us wanted to get in touch or give her something that wasn't too important, we can, since you've kind of taken over Liz's job. Beats so this is one of the new the things of the as night, well, right? there's mailboxes. <gasps> and what's this? I think you might have a letter right now! Which I'm not going to worry about right now. This is just some of the new stuff. I think you can like build your own hut. But anyway, yeah, shout out to Young Horses and Pop Agenda for sending me a code to this game back in, I don't know. I guess it was the week of the PS5 launch. And that's when I was playing this. Maybe it was a week before the PS5 launch. I don't exactly remember. It has been a while since I played it though, so I don't entirely remember... I guess I remember how to do mostly everything except which things to use to catch which bug snacks. Oh yeah! I always wanted to have a beach party. Need me to sunscreen your back, Snorp Dog? No, no, no need, Chandler. I'm well protected. I can tolerate the horrible sun for at least a few minutes. You sure? I could check if you missed a spot. <laughs> Best to keep our wits about us. This seismic event could happen any moment. Oh, oh, oh. Bro, what was that? They're not usually this intense. An anomaly, to be sure. But it ended surprisingly quick. Oh, oh, oh. Must we? Uh, um, yes, uh, uh, of course. Uh, but, but surely we need to form a miniature expedition. A gathering of our finest scientific minds. Of course, that means Triffany and. Oh, get Shelter! Shelter? Well, she's hardly qualified. You said you want the finest minds, and Shelter's loaded with wisdom. Oh, I suppose she is an herbalist and the closest thing we have to a doctor without Eggabel around. Very well, tell Triffany, Floofy, and Shelder to come to the beach. Chandler and I get home. Yeah, so this DLC is weird calling it a DLC. I mean, it's a free DLC, which is awesome. It definitely seems like they uh, probably could have charged for it. Look at all the stuff that they've added. I'm just trying to get a hang for how I catch these damn bug snacks again. Snack trap. Okay. Basically, this DLC adds a new quest line. Um, and I think you're actually, you're, if you're not aware, you can start this quest for the Isle of Big Snacks once you've completed Snorfy's full quest line and chadlow's full quest line i think so you don't have to beat the game and if you've already beaten the game you can just jump back in before it is lisbert was and since you've kind of taken over okay, yeah, already... <gasps> is he gonna do that every time i walk by him who do i need to get tiffany i don't remember any of their names plus i changed all their ah, outfits and what they look like so like how's it hanging Salutations. Hmm. So an unknown piece of geography has erupted from the ocean, unexplained and unstable, likely to sink again at any moment. So of course I'm going. 
I will get who else I need. Shelter. Here's to a hard day's work. Might as well max out all my uh, whatever they're called. I might have to rest for the night, come back in the morning. Hey. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Oh, you better believe I do. Islands don't just pop into being every day, you know. I got no business left here, so I'll go on ahead. Want something? Sup? Hey. You're asking me? <clears throat> but not so great that it can eclipse one's past. Do this, and one's future may indeed. Is that a yes? Blessings be yours. You're asking me? <clears throat> Despite the peril, one will show you the path and that scary little island. Okay, so you had to have completed her quests as well. That's why I was stuck. I saw to do her last like little thing, which is just finding the bug snacks and putting them in the purity, or the yeah, the purity box. So once you do that, then you can go on with the actual DLC. I'm not sure if that. Like, it didn't seem like it was a, uh, a new quest. Because I thought I did all of her quests already, but I guess not. Either way, so as long as you've done, the, what is that, Snorpy's full quest line. And Chadlow's first full quest line. And I guess uh, hers as well. Ah, so soon. We're not quite ready yet. We could use another few days. What are you talking about, Snorp Dog? We got the raft ready in record time. Let's go get everybody. <sighs> of course, Chandler. All righty. I'm here and ready to explore. Ooh, nice work on that raft there, Chandler. Thanks, Brophany. Indeed. If it is not more than a finely crafted tomb for the foolish wanderers. <sighs> of course, Snorpington can get volunteers. Ah, but it seems a vagrant has wandered into our expedition. Snacksburg is that way, Shelda. <gasps> Be still, your wicked tongue. One must show respect to one's elders. I will respect you as soon as you do something respectable. No, oh, you think so highly of yourself that you alone are they who can know the unknowable? No, you bring to all that you touch ruin to Egabel, ruin to elizabeth ruin to your own flesh and blood i'm starting to think this might not have been the best idea you know six folks is a lot for one raft maybe one of us ought to stay back home which one uh... we're all going me and snorpy can hold it together Actually, Chandlo, uh, well, I was thinking you and I should stay here and supervise. What? Bro, why'd I build all this stuff if we're not going? Don't you want to know what's on the new island? Well, uh, of course I do, but look at that thing. That island is a death trap. Come on, Snorp Dog. It's probably fine. Look, I gotta go out there. They need me. Yes. Somebody needs to carry the septuagenarian. in. Shut it. You can go if you must, Chandlu. But I'm staying here. But bro, we do everything together. What if something happens to you while I'm gone? Me? Well, I'll be on this lovely beach. What if something happens to you? Yes, yes, you can both be struck by a meteor at any moment. 
Honestly, they do this every time Chen Lo goes to check the mail. Can we stop wasting time and get on with this expedition before I'm as old as Shelda? <clears throat> you two are like mirrors, reflecting endlessly. One must look away from the infinite abyss and gaze down only at oneself. What? <gasps> Far be it for me to give anyone life advice, but there's nothing wrong with a little time apart. It's healthy, even. All right. If you all say so. Don't worry. I'll be in radio contact the entire time. Yeah, I've got trackers on at least three of you. Right. Okay. Then let's get this party started! Right. <laughs> Bro, I'll let you do the honors. <laughs> I gotta assume that the new, like, actual, uh, quest line probably isn't gonna be that long. But I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of different things to catch. I know there's a lot of new bug snacks, and it's called the Isle of Big Snacks, so there's probably gonna be big bug snacks. Plus, it's been so long since I've played that I might All not right, even so really remember what's new. We made what's it to not. the other island. We found some kind of reef cove thing to. Chandlo, listen to me. It's very important. You need to understand that remote detonator. Snorpy! Oh, Grump, the radio's broken. No, no. I think we're just out of range. Or there could be some interference going on. Oh, how unfortunate. I suppose we will have to proceed without Snorpington's so-called supervision. But maybe we should go... The threshold is crossed. It cannot be uncrossed. And if you think I'm spending another minute on that plank of wood today, <laughs> you are dead wrong. Yeah, you're always right, Shelda. Snorpy knows we got this. Huh. Looks like there's... <laughs> Can you just uh, you can walk we okay. Light that thing up? Uh, I bet Snorpy's trip shot could do it. Nice! Oh, Last was, one across is a I was expecting like the flame to travel across the line. I just, you know. I got confused. Well, what you look at there? Some kind of ancient maze. Well, whoever built it put it directly in our way. Chen Lo, you excel in brute force. Dish you got it! Call me Floof Dog again and see what happens. Now hold on, hold on there. Let's not go smashing the price. Looks like you could fit your buggy ball down there in the entrance. <laughs> no, going the right way. It doesn't look like there's any way for me to mess this up and fall down, so that's good. Goodness! That mechanism still works after all we- If that's just the door, who knows what historical goodies we'll find in- Can I pick him up? I don't- oh yeah, okay. was underwater not that long ago. I can even see evidence of civilization from who knows when. <gasps> One is more concerned with the ominous crater that if my eyes do not deceive me, I believe I've spotted new varieties of bug snacks as well. New bug snacks? Sick! Think they Sorry about dangerous? that. I my headset. There's an easy way to find out. Well, and a uh, sip of water before we get too ahead of ourselves, down. we might want to set up a base camp. A wonderful idea. One could use time to... Five minutes in, and you already need a nap. Oh, please don't start... Bros! You seeing what I'm seeing? It's... Excellent. Why don't you go and fetch it for us, Chen Lo? 
Way ahead of you, dog! Oh, dear. You better go follow and help him out. <laughs> so in this video, I'm probably going to just do the full DLC story. And then I'll probably make a separate Wait, video of how to catch each one me? of the new bug snacks and stuff like that. Way bigger than normal. Do I have to get him to charge something? Ooh! Ow! My muscles and my bones! Some kind of statue room. Whoa! It stopped being big. I bet it's small enough to catch now. I don't know what that is, but try throwing it at the big big bunger. Maybe that'll do something. Do I have to get his attention? Okay. You think that's too high? Bunger Royale, new snack. All right, bro. You got Bunger? I. Yeah. So good. We gotta tell the others about this. Did you all see that? Giant bug snacks. Even the bungers out here are as big as Mama Melon! Gosh, we might be witnessing a prehistoric species somehow preserved at the bottom of the ocean! Aha! Uh -huh. That would align with my theory on the correlation between age and size. The lost sister of Snacktooth lies unburied. Yet you marvel at the engorgement of the toxins that dance on her grave! The lost what, now? Tell me, Chenlo, how did you come to capture this specimen? We found a jar of some kind of small dust. It came out of this old lady statue thing. A statue, eh? What did it look like? Like a big friendly grumpus lady with flowers all around her. Uh, no. That sounds like it could be a shrine to Mother Nature. Whoa, Zelda, that's your thing. No, 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 no. Ah, but why would Mother Nature, noted despiser of bug snacks, be dispensing bug snack catching equipment? Hmm? Shelda, your god is a hypocrite. Silence, you wretch. The mother guides, the mother protects. If you so doubt, then one will wield the light of truth against your blasphemy. Okay, then. I guess Shelda's gonna go check out those shrines. Uh, meanwhile, I gotta go take a look at all the ruins around here. So I am fascinated by this shrink spice and its effects on snack matter. If I can determine exactly what it's made of, I'm certain we will have much use for it. All right, bros. I know I'm not a scientist, but I got a hypothesis. If this island can make Big Bunger, can it make Big Chandlo? That's... Not what a hypothesis is. Honestly, what does my brother see in you? Oh, hush. I'm sure it's worth a try. Well then, let's get to it. <laughs> Alright. So basically, just have each one to help each one of them first. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I'd say it's high time we get to... I see another maze blocking the way deeper into the jungle. I bet if we solve it, we'll... I'll go ahead and make my way over to the maze. Meet me there. I'm gonna get all the quests and, and then I'll go start them. This spice intrigues me. What substance could produce such a... From what I observed, it was manufactured by ancient grumpuses. So surely it'll be simple to recreate. Oh, please. Bring an ancient grumpus to the present and they'd be utterly lost. Anything they can do, I can do fundamentally better. Frivolities aside, I require a sample of shrink spice for study. Bring a specimen here and place it into my trough. <laughs> One must see what lies within those supposed shrines to Mother Nature. 
Not shrines destroyed and forgotten, but one untouched by the rabbit. One can see it up along the river's path. However, the shrine is beyond one's reach. Yet again. <laughs> Bro. So we'll get the spice first. That'll definitely be the easiest. These big bug one. snacks will make me big Chandlo. I saw this huge snack lifting stuff near the river. Big. <laughs> How do I get back up? I can just go. Oh, there's only one of them? Or they like, they don't respawn? Hmm. It seems this substance becomes quite volatile when removed from its origin. A flaw in its design, perhaps. How troublesome. I may need to, by which I mean, bring another sample here and throw it at me before it combusts. There are some told physical violence can, since the spice causes no apparent harm to bug snacks, I am reasonably certain. All right. Yeah, I wonder why it doesn't respawn. Like if I was to throw this, would it be just gone? experience that I have learned two very important one the substance does not work on grumpuses two I should not do that again I am no closer to obtaining a usable sample of shrink spice however I believe we may learn something from the local bug snacks use the shrink spice to capture one cheddar and one millimochi then transform me with those specimens okay well I have not gotten there yet let me <laughs> Where is their fire? Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this yet, but since I see the opportunity. Is there another spot that I'm supposed to light up? I'll work on her quest line now. Hmm. Seems like this is as far as I can go. I wonder if there's a way to get rid of this wall. Can I get him to charge it? Is that so I need to hit him before he comes through here where is he no where is he Did he already come through here? Mochi? I didn't see where he went. Really, not just break it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I guess I can hit this thing. Now. 
It kind of sucks that... I mean, I don't know. There's probably going to be more spots where this uh, stuff spawns, but... I gotta run all the way back over here to get something in this region. Look at that spider up there. What is that? I'm going to keep on with this first and then I will, uh, well, I guess I'll go back and get that now because I have to get both of those things, the Chet Orb and the Mil Milmochi. The Chet Orb seems like a pain. I don't... Shrink you first, and then if I jump in here, I should be able to die. Can I knock this? I don't think I can knock him down. Are you kidding? Come on. Why is it not blowing up? That's so dumb. I don't remember. Is there a way for me to like see if, how to get what what attracts certain bug snacks? I know you want me to do something there. Let me try and... I hate that shit. Why is it up there now? Retrieve, retrieve. Where the where'd he go? Okay. I'll just leave him alone right now. I wonder if this is gonna be bad. I probably have to avoid that. It shouldn't be that hard as long as it goes quick. Oh, 
No, I gotta keep lighting this, don't I? So far, the only thing that's annoying is that you can't catch them. Oh, there it is. It's like you can't catch anything unless there's one of the, you know, these things around, and these things are never around, but. Oh, come on, of course. He, he goes back to normal now that I'm starting to chase him. Stupid ass thing, man. It makes no sense that you throw it, and it shows like a project, like how far it'll go. But if you try and throw it in front of me, it didn't do anything. Okay. Well, I might as well keep on with this one because that was just going to irritate me. I'm gonna try and shrink that thing down. And then trip it, I guess. What? No, oh, I threw it the wrong way. Okay, well, I don't want it to, uh... Okay, it doesn't do anything. Oh, why is it not responding? Come on. Well, why would he change the way he was going? How do I get it out? What is it like? Okay. We'll just ignore that for now then. Catch that now. I can't. Is that a big? It's definitely been like a while since I've played this that I just am not remembering what I need to do with what uh, bug snacks. Is there anywhere in here that he can hide? Oh, you little bastard. Of course you're not going to go the right way. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. About to...
we hit the oh, let's go inside scan <laughs> I'm gonna carry on with this quest because the last one's just I don't know I'm not sure how you're supposed to catch some of these bug snacks now there's plenty to investigate in this plenty to investigate Is there plenty to investigate? Does not look. I guess I need to find out what this thing likes. sprinting as fast like <laughs> it doesn't give you any time to actually get him are you serious come on okay you're supposed to follow him to his next area i'm still not the biggest fan of that Thank God. All right, is it really going to just like run a marathon? Well, I have nothing to shrink it down with. I still, I'm kind of irritated that, uh, That there's not more of those like that to shrink it down with i guess maybe i gotta jump up here and get it hopefully i can use this to pull it across because if not that's even worse all right let's uh run back up there and try and shrink it down i'm not sure if that's gonna do anything but might as well try it I'm not even sure if shrinking it down is really going to do anything either. Like, do I trip it now? How do I trip it without tripping the other guy? Not sure what I need that for yet, but yeah. So far, I really don't like that you have to uh, throw the dust to make them smaller because then you gotta incorporate going to try and find this damn dust. Am I supposed to do anything with that? Let's try and use peanut butter there. Can I jump across him? Does he not like peanut butter? I assumed he would like peanut butter and that's why uh, this is up here. Okay, he does like peanut butter. I don't know if that was the way that you're supposed to do that to get it away from the spider. But it worked this time, so... I don't know if I'm supposed to catch those either. I'm just supposed to set them free. Alright, let's go back up and see what I can do in this area. Maybe I need to throw this stuff somewhere.
What am I supposed to do to interact with this stuff? There's plenty to investigate in this here ruin. Scan around. It's been so long since I've played, I don't even remember that you can scan. Judging by what we've seen, I'd say this was a communal living space. One of the few that wasn't utterly destroyed anyway. And gosh, technology and culture are so much more advanced than what we've seen so far. This city must have been the center of Stone Grumpus society. And at the very center, the temple, possibly led by a priestess of Mother Nature. Oh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> never look a gift temple in the gateway. I'll meet you by the entrance, <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Alright, so before I finish with or go on with this one, I'm going to go back and uh, update the other two quests. Why were they small? It says I was able to catch them, but that doesn't make sense because I didn't throw no dust at them. Okay, so I got to feed you uh, Milimochi. Cool, neat. And this Chet Orb thing. Let me make that your nose now. Use the shrink spice to capture one Chet Orb and one Milimochi. I did Use that. Use the shrink spice to capture one Chedorb and one Milimochi. Then. I did that. Come on, you're not gonna really screw me over. I. Oh, hand and leg. There we go. Use the shrink spike. Did I not change your leg already? I guess you need your foot. Decently competent work. Unfortunately, any remnants of the spice seem to have been digested, but this too yields interesting results. In their shrunken state, the bug snacks here are not fundamentally different from those on Snack Tooth proper. It will be simple. I am merely exhausting every avenue of study. It's called being thorough. Now, I've observed chocolates capable of maintaining a small size. This may present a more stable vessel for the spice. Regrettably, I must not eat it, delicious though it may be. So bring one to my science trough, please. <laughs> okay. The past once more revealed. So I did two of the eggs so far. For the truths yet unknown within the river shrine. <laughs> I haven't done anything that you wanted I yet. saw this huge snack lifting stuff near the river. Big lifting. I don't really know what that means. Oh, this guy. But if I throw this at him, it's going to bounce off the top of his head. So I got to figure out a way to knock that off him first. Maybe I need to keep him around for a minute and use him. Why did I like that? I don't know what that thing is for. Oh, I guess I don't need to use them. I can just walk up here. Thank you. 
I place this in the water, you think? Really? So I don't know how to get that off his head. Maybe he likes hot sauce? Is that what's over there? Why is it another one where it's like just out of reach? Ooh, thanks for meeting me out here. I guess if it's just you and me, <laughs> I can keep it casual. Oh, the front entrance to this place looks too strenuous for these old bones. But I believe there's a side entrance into the shrine. When you find it, This is not the way. All right, I'm gonna keep going up this way. Kind of keep exploring to see if there's anything else that I can get. Was this the side entrance that she was talking about, maybe? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Stay there, I'll come back up. That's so dumb. Damn it. I'm not trying to jump on that. Alright, maybe the ant will take me? Wait, how come I can't... Is it really I just set it just in the wrong spot? No, I just can't... What the hell am I supposed to do? So it just... Oh, you gotta be kidding. Well, I can still reach the egg, right? Oh, the egg already dropped. Okay, before I go do that egg, I don't even know if I need these eggs. Is that part of the quest that I'm doing?
All right. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing all these eggs. I don't know if this is like an extra thing, but I might as well do it. Maybe it's like once you free all of them, there's going to be some kind of... I don't know. Big extra thing that happens. Maybe a big snack. A rare big snack. Okay, let's try and light this guy on fire. You would think that it would disappear by lighting it on fire. That a oh, okay. Well, now how do I hit you with this? Okay. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep on with this one. This place. It's almost identical to the shrines I used, but it's been twisted, corrupted. Here, Mother Nature is the bringer of bug snack. The stories they pass down. The warnings about the toxin. They must have come from experience. I grew up hearing stories about the dangers of Snack Tooth Island. Passed down through the oral tradition from those who survived it. Not that many did survive it. Just enough to give one very clear message. The toxin must not be consumed. It wasn't really a raffle, I can tell you that. <sighs> Come with me to the crater. There's something else I want to see. All right, before I do that, let's try and lure. I'm not going to worry about doing Chadlow shit right now, because... Yes. This is the place. In the stories, they call this island Broken oh, okay. Tooth. So the story Already goes, did 3D eggs. the toxin's influence grew so great and powerful that the sun itself went dark. And so Mother Nature unleashed her wrath on her errant followers, purging the toxin and sending everything to the depths of the ocean. Looks a lot like wrath to me. But that story never sat right with me. Destroy she's not the bringer of bug snacks either. The ancients can't even get their story straight. So what am I supposed to believe? If I can't rely on the wisdom of those past, then all that's left is my own experience. I need to meditate. You see that egg shell? I need you to crack open three of them. This time. Oh, thank you. I know that wasn't an easy task. <laughs> it's ah, kind of bug easy snacks task. are so it. often in the shape of unliving. They're also the only good source of calcium on this island. But, but, but don't judge me. <laughs> I'm fighting osteoporosis. Ah, <sighs> anyway, I've centered my thoughts. I want to know for myself what bug snacks are, whether they're of the mother or not. I'm going to need that big old nasty flying bug snap. Please. Oh, how the hell am I going to get that now? Where's this camera, right? That's what I got to do. I don't remember how to... Is it this? No, how do I use the camera? What the hell? Okay, it likes hot sauce.
He's as low as he's gonna go. He's just glitched right now, so I'm not going to worry about him. What was the bug snack that this lady needed? So something that I do not know what it is yet. What is... Pillowbite, okay. How do I get him to pick up that? Pick it up. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, come over this way. Stop dancing over top of that. I don't know if that's the way you're supposed to get across there, but why not? I'm going to get one of these while I can. Thing. What is that? That's the chocolate. I guess you can only get those by knocking them off the back. So how do I get them? No, no, come on. I'm pretty sure that's not how that was supposed to happen, but I'm not going to complain. He just threw it on top of it. Okay, I wonder how I get that. If I can get that. I would, he's probably too far away for me to hit him with fire. So I got the chocolate. Oh hey! You can see the camp from up here. At a nice, safe distance. Anywho, there should be a mechanism here that'll get us through that door. Might be a bit of a jog though. Okay, that is something that I need. So I'm going to bring the uh thing over here the spice to make them smaller and then try and get them maybe I can at least see how to get it maybe I can light myself on fire Thank you. 
Okay, that is what Chanlo needs. Right, but how do I make you not on fire? Oh, I'm gonna have to get him to attack one of these mochis, I bet. Why this close? Oh, because they're idiots in me. Okay, I was like, they're not gonna screw me and lock me in here. Oh, that this is gonna be a pain. That was some fancy footwork. Oh, wow. Okay, this time the ancient architects were definitely showing off. But you know, this ludicrously complex maze tells me that whatever's in the temple beyond is just that important. So you know the drill. Where do I enter? Over here. Wait, is that thing also a Choco Ant? I know that I'm gonna like mess up at some point, get mad at it. Chocolate. Is that the same? I guess. The, oh, Jesus Christ! That was horrifying. Okay, so I have to make sure that Chocolate does not get me, or else I am. So I have to basically just move slowly. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I went one too early. Okay, now I go in, right? I think I went one too soon again. Mm, I can speed it though. I gotta get all the way back to make sure I can actually see where I'm going now. I'm gonna wait for the next one. Okay, get out of the way. You son of a bitch. not to just jump in and do it myself. Oh, Anywho, great. Thanks. the way is open, so let's get going. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's a kick in the teeth. So much for seeing the temple. Judging by the bodies, this collapse must have happened when folks were still living here. Maybe the crater is connected somehow. Come to think of it, we didn't find a single corpse. Well then, I'm not about to let this mystery go unsolved. Oh no, no, we don't need to trouble everybody with all this. 
I know my way around ruins. I'll be just fine on my... You just leave this to me. Go on about your... Okay, so now I gotta wait. So then I will go... You like hot sauce, which I do not have any. Let's go back to the start. Hopefully I can get some hot sauce and then I will also uh, start Chadlow's quest line. Get him the uh, whatever the hell that thing is, the macaroni. Come on, give me a little bit more. I need five more at least. I don't remember how long it takes for them to respawn, but then I got 29 letters in my mailbox. That's it. So I need to get the flying guy to hit one of the mochis to put his flame out. And that might also stun him as well. What did I need for in here? <laughs> At last, okay. a viable sample. Now I can extract the powder and finally put this mystery. To this requires my utmost concentration, and you ask far too many questions. You may. <laughs> so I gotta wait for her for a day too. Don't have what you want. You want? Yeah. Bro. Oh yeah. I can feel the lifting energy inside me, but I didn't get bigger at all. You know what, bro? I'm just gonna admit to myself that it's not gonna work. Guess that means my investigation's over already. Relax, huh? I guess it's been a while since I just chilled. I've been so busy fixing up Snacksburg, training, life coaching, and you know, I've always got to take care of Snorpy. What the grump? Let's hang. All right. Where the, where is their basketball hoop? You know the rules, oh, no. dog. We're gonna take turns shooting hoops. First one to make five baskets wins. Go ahead and shoot your first shot. You got one point. My turn. Yeah, I'm not gonna That's wait for you. <laughs> not three points, dog. My turn. You got four points. Do I have to wait for him? Or Whoa, I just keep five, shooting? two points for me. You won, dog. Yeah, I cheated. I didn't know you were such a baller. I clearly cheated. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me, bro. Now that we're done hanging, uh, uh -huh. I gotta get back to Snacksburg. You sure about that, dog? One time I saw Luckily, Snorpy I lose a, a fight with a crap and a silly stick, so but I But that's not the point. Oh, bro, I'm gonna be real with you. This is the longest I've been away from Snorpy in years. And he's not okay without me. How about this? I'm gonna need some... Big energy for the trip back. You get me two of the biggest, strongest bug snacks on this island. I don't know why it said rematch. Oh, bro. While you were out there, I've been thinking. Before I... Normally, there's stuff I can't talk about, because Snorpy's always listening in. So, if not now, when? All right, Sheldon's waiting. Hey, Sheldog, can I get some of your wisdom? Always, my child. 
I'm worried about Snorpy. <sighs> Once more shall you be reminded. Snorpy is safer than we, Chandlo. Ease your burden. That's... that's not what I mean. I'm worried about the way he's been. All the paranoid stuff, the anxiety. I thought bringing Snorpy out here, out into nature, it might mellow him out. Flush all the bad vibes out of his system. But it's only gotten worse. I've known Snorpy all my life, but it feels like he's getting further away from me and... And I just don't know what to do. Uh, one must... In the path of the mother. No, uh, hold on. One does not want one's words to be misinterpreted when one says, that boy needs therapy. W well, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I'm trying to do that. I make sure he's safe. I listen to his problems. I, I try to help him feel valid. All that stuff. Chandlo. You are strong and wise and wonderful, and you can do everything to support him. But you cannot fix him. Understand? Snorpy is lost in a maze of his own making, and it will take a professional to help him escape. That's a lot to take in. You know, thank me when you actually take my advice. Hey, bro, while I'm still out here, I want to talk to Triffany and Floofty. Okay, let me go back and carry on with this. Blast it all! I do not need your distractions. I've obtained dried particles of plant slurry, but I have no way to analyze them. It's like living in the Stone Age out here. Perhaps if I had a particle separator, an electron microscope, and a degree in botany... You cannot be serious. I would sooner eat my bow tie than listen to a word of Shelda's advice. Afraid? I simply do not want to waste my valuable time being lectured on archaic moral dichotomies. Yes, I admit that I am frustrated. Under normal circumstances, I could do this without assistance. Very well. Since you clearly won't start pestering me about this, let us go see Shelda. One senses the reek of a foul presence. Cease your hostilities, Shelda. I am here on business. I've been informed that you may possess a rudimentary understanding of phytochemical reactions, which I am in need of. <gasps> Strike the stars from the sky! The Wicked One has come to me for guidance. But surely one's ancient ways are far too primitive compared to the miracles of modern science. I do not appreciate your sarcasm. If you do not wish to help me, then simply say so and be gone with you. One would never. It is one's path to offer guidance to all who seek it, no matter how undeserving they may be. Very well. Then I require an analysis of the shrink spice. Tell me what is in it, and be quick about it. Please. Hmm, ah, yes. A poultice made in the herbological traditions of the mother. If that is what you desire, then one will enter the olfactory realm to find the answers you see. What? Don't st I know <laughs> that. Ah. <sighs> So many subtle aromas. Witch hazel? So far the DLC is bigger than I thought it was going to be. Black tea. Each a natural I was expecting remedy maybe like an hour of content. And since among it's free. these astringent. <coughs> Oil of vitriol. Oil of vitriol? That's sulfuric acid. A common but powerful desiccant. That certainly explains the burning sensation. Floofty, did you tell the journalist to throw acid at you? Well, this has been surprisingly not a waste of time. I am going to leave now. I may call on your services again. And you're welcome. Oh? I suppose it was only a matter of time. As Are we here to speak boring. ill of my brother? I will gladly go first. Complaint 1 of 294. 
No, no, that's not why I asked you here. But I do want to talk about Snorpy. He wasn't like this when we were kids, right? I mean, he wasn't always so on edge, was he? Snorpington has always had his imagination and his moral compass. But no, I suppose he's gotten markedly more distraught since our project's dissolution. What happened between you two? I mean, I heard some of it from him, but I always wanted to hear your side too. And Snorpy doesn't really like me talking to you. Oh, I'm aware. I have a pile of threatening letters to that effect. However, I will gladly take this opportunity to set the record straight. We were working together on a government-funded research project. Advanced prosthetics that are ten times stronger than an ordinary grumpus. But our dear Snorpington discovered that the government had less than savory plans for that technology. And despite my protestations, he tried to make those plans public knowledge. Well, yeah, I don't blame him. Even you got to admit, that's pretty jacked up, dog. Am I the world's only optimist? That technology would have saved lives. If it must either exist with some consequences or not exist at all, I think the choice is clear. Easy to say when you aren't the one living with the consequences. <laughs> yeah, where did you come from? Shoo! <sighs> Unfortunately, Snorpington agreed with you. He tried to play whistleblower, but before he could make a sound, we were both fired. And after that, there was a campaign to slander both of us, to discredit any allegations he might still make. So, there really was a conspiracy against you two? <laughs> if you must call it that. But only the most boring sort, with paperwork and lawsuits. Still, that means it's not all in his head. Don't mistake justification for reason. Snorpington has moved well beyond the realities of our situation. All right, Flifty. That mm, happy to have enlightened you. Honestly, I expected this conversation. No, not this time. We're cool. But hey, we should talk more often. Perhaps. But for now. Okay, yeah, way, way too much talking and dialogue at this moment. I'm gonna go try and catch this uh, big fly in my pocket. shortcut come on come this way move quick. I don't know how much time I really have. Oh, come on. These are all... That was uh, close. Before I go back and give that to Shelda, I'll come in here and do this. Uh... Right? Why is there nothing above your head? You said come back a day later. Oh, oh, there we go. It's not going too good. I'm starting to worry I might never see the inside of this temple. Knowing them, they go it. Oh, I was afraid. Sure, teamwork would really help out here. But those grumps can't go more than an hour without starting a big fight, and I, uh, I just freeze. You know, I'm an expert in my field and all, but I'm not a management type. It's better if I just concentrate on my work and let them... To be honest, no, I don't. 
These kind of spats, they just fester and grow. And before you know it, look, some folks just don't get along. Some mysteries just go unsolved. There's nothing up, but at least we gave it a shot. Um, was there something else I needed to catch? Or was that... I think that's it. I mean, I don't even see any more bug snacks that I haven't caught yet besides those little egg guys. Which I don't, I mean, you know, I don't think I have to catch him for this playthrough. We'll see. Who am I talking to now? I need to put this, uh... Thank you. I swear I'm not going to eat it this time. Nay, for I seek the very essence of bug snacks. That spirit which drives them to create their poisonous delights. Unfortunately, I have no grumpin' clue how to do that. I wanna work. <gasps> Bloofty? Are you out of your grumping mind? One would never consult with that wicked alchemist. Yes, one wants to learn. Not to receive long-winded insults. But, one must admit, when it comes to delving into the Forbidden, there is none more bold than Floofty. Oh, well, if that is how it must be, then may the Mother protect me. Ah, Shelda, you seem to be dangerously close to my personal space. If you're here to trap me in a spell circle again, I will inform you that I could leave at any time and I was merely acting. Temper your contemptuous heart. One is here on a quest for understanding, to unlock the forbidden knowledge of bug snacks. Oh, and you've come to me. Why don't you ask your mother naturally? Or Crystal, or whatever you talk to. The path is shrouded at the moment. One believes that clearing this impasse Requires a more scientific lens. How interesting. Are you certain? I'm given to understand that I exude a fetid aura of utter evil from every pore. You are reckless and arrogant and so, so rude. But one does not truly believe that you are evil. <laughs> well, I have little time nor patience for your games. If you want to know something, Stop speaking like a horoscope and ask. Ugh. I want to know the essence of bug snacks. What is it they're made of? If I can understand that, then I might know whether they're actually separate from Mother Nature. I'm not about to resolve I'm gonna skip some of the dialogue if it looks like the ending of it's just that not no something that matters. The why of the universe. However, so that we can get some to get through some of this dialogue. Studies, it's just, uh... And just this once, I will educate you. A little I can bloated. show you how to extract live snack matter for microscopic viewing without that matter denaturing. Ah, uh, but if I were to explain it to a very small infant, denature. I know what denature is. You do. I'm here to learn about bug snacks. Ah, uh -huh. very well then. Our lesson should proceed. Step one of seventeen: preparing an adequate formula and solution. Thank you for encouraging this old lady to learn something new. Now you better leave us to it. I. I still have to have Chandlo talk to. Uh... Oh, I'm happy to chat with Chandlo. Yeah, I know. Meet by the fire. What's have another ten-minute conversation. Chan Lo? Conversations Trippin aren't that long. You know about history and like ancient societies and stuff. Shelda said Snorpy's lost in a maze of delusion. But what if it's not a delusion? What if there really is a Grumpinati? Well. I've done some research on my own, and uh, near as I can tell, there's no such thing. At least not in the way you see in the movies. There's no shadowy cabal secretly in control of the world. 
real conspiracies can't happen. And heck, there was an old literary society called the Grumpinati. But aside from the name, it's not at all what Snorpy talks about. Are you sure? I mean, I've seen Snorpy's charts, and they kind of make sense. Kinda is the important word here, though. Look, there are points of data on that chart that are real, but it's all those strings between them that are made up. No, those are real. We got them from Gramble. Oh, Chandlo, that's not, uh, what I... Up, 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 let it go, my child. Point is, Snorpy might be a talented engineer, but he's no historian, and he's certainly not immune to... Yeah, I guess you're right. I hope you're... No problem! And if you ever want to know more about failed conspiracies... Okay, hopefully that is the last uh, bit of dialogue, or long bit of dialogue like that. Bro, I feel like there's a huge weight on Snorpy never would have come to Snack Tooth if I didn't push him into it. All I do now is make him exercise and ignore all the stuff I don't understand. Sheldon's right. I don't know enough to really help him. I'm gonna stay here. Until everybody's ready anyway. I'm Where's the uh... Okay, I did everybody's quest line so far. Oh, that's nice. Well, if that's the case, then I'm gonna go get- This might be a long meeting. So let me know if you've still got some business to do. Fantastic. All right, everybody, team meeting. Thanks for meeting everybody. It seems like we've all had an interesting time so far, ya? Yeah? Indeed. I must say, I'm eager to see what grisly curiosities you found in your studies, Professor. Oh, uh, I better not go first. I'm sure I'll just ramble on all night. Say, Chandlo, did you ever find a way to get bigger? Not physically, nah. But I did grow in, like, a metaphorical way. Sorry I couldn't help more with the science. Do not apologize, child. Knowing oneself is the most valuable kind of knowing. Hmm. And, Shelda, what did you find out about Mother Nature? With some <clears throat> additional insight, one has learned that bug snacks are indeed children of the mother. Yet toxins still, just as every fang dripping with venom. Every flower glistening with poisonous sap. A reminder that nature can be very unkind. Grump, yeah? Nature's hardcore! Ah, uh, like some. The ancients may have worshipped the mother, but her light was lost on them. The tooth remains broken, and one believes that this was not the work of the divine. The truth of its destruction and rebirth remains shrouded. That is so interesting. Oh, I swear, we've got to talk about history soon, Shelda. But first, let us discuss my findings. With some <clears throat> minor assistance, I was able to reproduce the newly discovered shrink spice. After some experimenting, I've learned that these big bug snacks are actually small by default. Something about the snack matter on this island causes them to enlarge. I believe I understand the how, but I've yet to discover the why. There is no why, Flukty. Things simply are. Using my words against me. Invent your own wisdom, you sagacious charlatan. I would, if you ever listened to anybody but yourself. Oh... Please, let's not start. <laughs> <laughs> What's that happening now? Ha! Oh, you missed it, Trip Dog! Flukty and Shelda teamed up to brain slam this mystery! They... they have? Shocking, I know. The things I do for science. Yes, the path is ever winding. But one apologizes for the distraction as it is time to feast on the fruits 
of the historian's knowledge. Oh, well, hmm, I, I've certainly learned a lot, but there are still plenty of mysteries abound, and I think it's possible we'll find all the answers inside the temple. Unfortunately, there's a bit of a collapsed hallway there, and I've got... I believe we may have a solution for that. My combined research with Shelda has produced something quite useful indeed. Oh, yeah! Floofty asked me to... Don't ruin the surprise. Trust me, it will be very entertaining. Ooh, a more ominous sentence has never been uttered. Well, that all sounds good to me. Let's head to the temple. Well, okay. There it well, is. no, it's no more dialogue. Think you can do something <laughs> Which is about fine. This now debris? it's the part of the story. No problem. Just Turn having everyone on. meet around the campfire Fluffy. ten times Let's is a little bit obnoxious. Ready. Of course, the thing. You place your buggy ball on the ground in front of us. <laughs> Good. Now turn around, and no peeking. We wouldn't want to ruin the surprise, would we? All right. I've got it out of the ball. Slippery little thing. Keep it still, or the needle will. Ow! What the grump is that stuff? You'll live. There we go. And. Whoa! Don't let go! Oh no, you don't! Gotcha! You may now turn around. All right, bro. Feast your eyes on the new and improved. I thought it'd be bigger the way that they're making those sounds. I to call it the engorged strabiform or bacula encasement, but we can't always get what we want. With this much snack power, we can tear down that wall! Woo! We finally got a way in! Problem solved. You are all... Oh, yeah! Center yourself, Chandlo. This is... Yeah, but we did do pretty good, huh? Woo! I could ask a million questions about how that works. But first things first. Can I destroy things or should I not? understatement <laughs> I told you that the stone grumps did ritual sacrifice yeah well this was the place they throw grumpuses down that pit offering them up to hmm is that why the bug snacks here get so big because the Bro, come check this out I found this machine thing buried here Kind of reminds me of Snorpy's lunch pads. Indeed, yet large enough to launch something of significant size. In fact, it seems to be perfectly suited for the big bucky ball. I believe an experiment is in order. <laughs> Whoa, Sprout got locked. Hmm, there seems to be a triggering mechanism on the back. Can't be a good sign. What did you all do? A disturbance is emanating from the sealed pit. Ready yourselves. A grave danger approaches. Gross. I get the feeling I'm about to get dunked on again. What is that? The knife hands. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, how do I... What are the Chet Orbs like? 
Maybe they don't like anything? Or at least that's not... Will he throw him in there? He will, okay. the last one now. I'm gonna assume I gotta get him to throw something at this. No, I gotta make them small enough. Alright, where's the next one coming from? There's one right here. Come on, quick throw it. Throw it, come on. Damn, how many times do I have to smash it? do anything it didn't make the sound of his like thing getting smashed let's try it again Yeah, I think I'm not supposed to be doing it so fast. Man, he's just throwing him around though. He keeps hitting him higher up in the air. I shot those things like four times and not one of them hit except that last one. So yeah, I have to let him get further away, start doing his dumb little rock throwing thing.
Oh, that's dumb. I gotta let him throw him at me first. It's weird having a boss fight, because I don't think this damages me or anything. I just have to... It's like I'm just sitting on top of him now. Cheddar portal Bro, rex, okay. I better eat that thing before it bulks up again. Bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's the adrenaline talking, but that's the best bug snack I've ever had. Whew. All right. Let's check if everybody's okay. Good to see we're all in one piece. That was the biggest snack I've ever seen. Nothing like a giant monster fight to get the blood pumping. <laughs> Speak for yourself. One is far too old for this. Agreed. But now that the danger is past, I'd like to revisit what precisely all of this means. You know, judging by the temple roof, the collapses, the crater, I mean, it's just a thought. But I think, ages ago, something big came out of that pit. Well, yeah. We just saw the Cheddar Bortle come out of there. Huh. If the Cheddar Bortle could be handled by one mediocre journalist, I doubt it could destroy an entire civilization. Yeah, I'm thinking much bigger and much nastier. Something we can hardly even imagine. The wrath of Mother Nature. Or perhaps... The wrath of those sacrifice. Amusing as this grisly history is, none of that explains why the island suddenly rose from the sea. Maybe it wanted to be found. Uh, islands don't generally want things, Chanlo. Unless those lost and vengeful lie dormant still be... You know, I think I've learned all I can for now. What say we call it quits today? For our own good. All yes. right, sounds good. Okay, so do you want to come back to the raft with us? Or... Well, let's go back to the raft to end the DLC. The way, I'm assuming that's going to be in. I'll you with stories about other temp. Mm, no more stories, please. Yeah, let's go back and see. Is it just as easy as that? Deep Impact Trophy Unlocked? Snorp Dog! Chandler, my l- <coughs> Um, uh, you're in one piece. And I mean, uh, of course you are. I had the utmost faith in you. Oh, please. You were likely in tears the entire time. I was not! Uh, uh, Trithany, what in the world did you find out there? Oh, gosh. That's a long story. I kind of want to get home to Wamby first, if you don't mind. But uh, let's meet up in town, and I'll tell you the details over some snack waters, yeah? Yes, let's! Ah, and Shelda's alive and well? Yeah, my joints are killing me. <laughs> but sure, 
I, uh, uh, one must meditate with a tincture of willow and cloves. Uh, if you inform me of the recipe, I could find a way to augment the effects. Consider this an effort to be less deliberately antagonistic towards you. Uh, thanks, I guess. Floofties being helpful? Seriously, Chandler, what happened over there? Grumpinati mind control? I don't know. We're just finding ourselves out here, Snorp Dog. And, uh, speaking of that, Snorpy, I'm sorry for making you come to Snack Tooth. Oh, well, well, that's all right. It may not be my favorite place, but, but I know you're just doing what you think is best. Yeah, that's the problem. Well, you sound like you've got something weighing on your mind. Yeah, I do. But I... Ah, ah, well, well, I'm nothing if not... Thanks for everything, dog. Alright guys, well that is going to be the full walkthrough playthrough of the Isle of Big Snacks DLC for Bug Snacks. If you like that, please like and subscribe. If you want a video on me catching all of the Bug Snacks, which I'll probably do no matter what, but if you want that, go and like, subscribe, and that's going to be the end of the video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one.